In this video tutorial, you're going to learn about the shape tool. And the shape tool isn't uh, perfectly intuitive, so I'm going to give you a few hints how to use it. If you take a look at my main toolbox, the tool um, that is the shape tool is a circle and a square. And so you click on that, and notice when I click on it, somewhere on your flip chart page, you're going to notice the tools will appear on the border. On my, in my case, this is on the right hand side. You can see them right here. Now, it's really hard to see, but at the very bottom uh, after your last tool, there's this little icon, looks kind of like a double gray arrow down at the bottom. And if you click on that, you can see even more tools. So there's quite a few there that you could use to quickly create something on the page. Now, keep in mind that when you are going to create a tool, your fill color, like what's inside of the, the tool, you, you um, have this palette right there with the shapes. This is for your fill tool, to, excuse me, for the fill color on whatever shape you create. And then the border of your shape will be whatever you select on your main toolbox color palette. So again, this is what gonna be, whatever you choose here will be the border of your shape. And whatever you choose up here is going to be the fill color. So I'm gonna create a shape with a yellow fill. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click black for the border. And then I'm gonna go on to choose an arrow. So I click on the arrow here. And now to create my shape, you just click and drag. And the longer you hold your finger down during the drag, the bigger your shape will be. So I click and now watch, I'm dragging down to the right and down. And you can see I can make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And then let you let go. This is where it gets confusing because at this point you may wanna just go right and move it around. Can't do that, not until you go back and get your select tool on your main toolbar or your toolbox. So I get my select tool and now I can move it around my screen by clicking and dragging or I could click on it to get my object edit icons or tools up here or I get my, I call those handles, these um, dots right around the object if I want to resize at this point or do anything of that nature. That's what those little handles are for, changing it, the shape slightly and resizing. So again, the big thing is you got to go back to your select tool in order to move the object around, the shape around, or to get your object edit tools or to resize.